Now, if you fly whoops, you'll know how important it is to have lots of charged batteries, especially on a beautiful day like today. Now, I've got a USB charger, which is great, but it needs USB power. Now, I want something that's big enough to keep me flying all day, but I don't want anything that looks like it's a house brick in my pocket. Now, recently, I've been using this. It's an AO High Starship 240 watt power pack and it's been performing really rather well. So let's take a closer look, put it through its paces and see whether it's something you should consider buying. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloat channel. AO High have clearly spent a big wedge of their development budget on industrial design because this is a seriously good looking power pack. I mean it almost looks like a prop from a sci-fi movie and it feels very solid and well made. But what about the specs? Well it's got two bi-directional USB-C PD 3.1 ports rated for up to 140 watts here there and there and there's one 22.1 5 watt USB-A port and these USB-C ports can both charge the power bank and power your devices while the USB-A port is only for output. Now on the front there's a very nice display. This gives you a power bar showing the current charge level and which port is in operation. There's a little button at the side here which turns that on and off. It also comes on automatically when you plug things in pretty much as normal. Now because these USB-C ports are bi-directional you can use one to power say a laptop and you can plug the other into a USB-C charger so it can charge and power device at the same time. Importantly this 140 watt port means you can charge this very quickly if you have a suitable 100 watt charger. I mean there's no point in having a big powerful USB port pack if you can't charge it quickly. So there's plenty of flexibility here, enough ports to charge three devices at once including laptops, smartphones, tablets or even drone batteries which is what I've been using it for mainly. It's perfect for professional travellers or in my case charging my Whoop batteries. Now it's rated at 27,600 milliwatt hours which in theory gives you enough juice to charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro once or an iPhone 16 three to four times and it's also airline compliant with a 99.36 watt hour capacity so it's safe for carry on luggage. Plus it's got a whole suite of safety features built in protection against overcharging, overheating and all sorts of other risks which give you the peace of mind that you're using a safe and reliable pack. The weight comes in just under one kilogram so yeah it's not the lightest power bank out there but considering how much power it can supply I think that's a fair trade-off. The PD ports are rated for up to 5 amps at 28 volts which means a maximum output of 140 watts but in most USB-C PD use cases you're likely to be using at 20 volts at 5 amps which is 100 watts and I put a link in the description below if you want to check out the full power range of these ports. Now for me this strikes a good balance between power and weight as a portable USB power source and it's been working really well over the past few weeks as my daily USB supply for charging my Whoop batteries out in the field plus some other stuff of course but if you've watched my videos before you'll know I like to run some objective tests on gear like this just to see how close it actually gets to the manufacturer's specs. Now this is rated at 27,600 milliampere hours but in the real world watt hours not milliampere hours are what really matter. This one is rated at 99.36 watt hours which is just under the 100 watt hour TSA limit and watt hours gives a much more accurate picture of the total usable energy. Now typically 
with USB-C PD, most high power devices will pull around five amps at up to 20 volts, sometimes higher, and that's 100 watts. So for this test, I'll be using a dynamic electronic load to simulate real world usage at those kinds of power levels. And based on past experience with similar power banks, I'd expect to see anywhere between 85 and 95 watt hours delivered, depending on the voltage and the current settings during the test. So let's get it wired up and see how it performs. To test the real world capacity of the AO High 240 watt power bank, I've used an electronic load and run three discharge tests at different current levels, all at 20 volts, which is typical for USB-C PD. At one up, it ran for five hours and delivered 95.5 watt hours. At 2.5 amps, it lasted two hours, delivering 88.53 watt hours. And at five amps, the full 100 watt load, it held up for an hour and delivered 85.4 watt hours. Now, you might be wondering why we're not seeing the full 99.36 watt hours listed in the spec sheet. Now that's totally normal and actually expected for power banks like this. There are always some efficiency losses during power conversion, especially at high loads and at the power bank limits. It will always perform better on smaller loads, plus there's some energy loss due to the finite resistance in the cables and the connectors, particularly when you're pulling higher currents. Even using good quality cables, those losses still add up. There's also some energy converted to heat, which is why power packs feel warm when they're under load. Although with this, it only got slightly warm under my full power tests. It's also worth remembering that manufacturers usually test under ideal laboratory conditions using perfect loads and minimal resistance. But in the real world, just like EV range or car MPG, your results are almost never going to match the spec sheet exactly. And for all practical purposes, the results for this are actually pretty solid. Delivering between 85 and 95 watt hours, depending on the load, shows this pack is performing well and giving you most of the energy that it's rated for, especially when you compare it to similar high capacity packs. So the AO High Starship 240 watt power bank really is a compact but seriously powerful USB-C PD device that's perfect for field charging my 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S LiPos, along with laptops, phones, tablets, and whatever else you need. And with a 27,600 milliamp hour capacity and dual 140 watt bi-directional USB-C ports, this handy display and solid real world performance of almost 100 watt hours, it's a great option for anyone who needs reliable portable power. Now the price on this is $139.99 and it comes with an 18 month warranty, which adds a bit of peace of mind, especially if you're using it regularly out in the field like I am. Hopefully this review has given you enough info to decide if this is the right power bank for you. Do you think it's worth it? Are you gonna buy one? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.